Have you heard of the Giant's Causeway? Perhaps you have, but there is so much more to see and do in Northern Ireland. Welcome back to the channel. We have 10 epic holiday places to enjoy on Northern Ireland's northeast coast you won't want to miss. Number one. Just beyond Portrush driving east is Mauro Cross Viewpoint. We actually didn't know anything about it as it only opened in 2021. But the views of the limestone cliffs are beautiful. It sits on an outcrop of the coastline and looking across towards Bally Castle or back to Portrush, you won't be disappointed. Number two, Dunluce Castle and lots more to come that might surprise you. Let's look inside this iconic castle. It's served by touring bus companies like Wild Rover Tours and others so it's easy enough to get to. Dunluce was built in the 13th century and passed to the MacDonald clan in the 16th century. It began to fall into the sea and the clan abandoned the castle and moved to Glenarm where their descendants still live. We will have a look at their castle later. Number 3. The Giant's Causeway A World Heritage Site from 1986 and also one of the most visited sites in Ireland rivaling only the Cliffs of Moher. 40,000 basalt columns in various shapes presented horizontally or vertically when a volcanic fissure erupted thousands of years ago. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button and follow us by subscribing. Thank you. We appreciate your support. We have ourselves no. and two cats to feed. Number 4. The sad story of Dunseverick Castle, ransacked by Cromwell's forces in 1642 and never recovered, and the rest fell into the sea. A spot for a picnic and watch nature and a pile of stones. A beauty spot, preserved by the National Trust. Next number five, White Park Bay. Famous for its beach and a setting for a swim like no other. A short walk from the car park and on a day like this, heaven. Next number six, Carrick a reed rope bridge. Another iconic site on the north coast, originally built to reach the island by fishermen. It's a precarious place to walk over, and a one and a half kilometers walk from the car park visitor center. A walk only if you are fit, as it's a steep climb back and is hard going. Having said that, it's really beautiful and great exercise. If you are sharp-eyed, you will also pick up the fossils from the limestone exposed on the way. We saw massive crowds there that day, and lots of tour buses visit. Check that out if you're not driving. That's it for the North Coast. Number seven, traveling over the mountains, up through the glens, down into the picturesque village of Cushendun, the most northerly village on the Northeast Antrim Coast Road. We will travel a road that foreign visitors sometimes miss. Stay around. The village was designed in 1912 to resemble a Cornwall village in southern England, which explains the unusual for Ireland designs. Maud's cottages face onto the village, named after the late wife of the man who built them, Baron Cushendon, Ronald McNeil. Number eight, Cushendall is designated as an area of natural beauty and a population of around 1,200. Like Cushendun, nothing has changed in many years, and as you can also see, it's not overwhelmed with visitors, which we think adds to its charm. Camper vans and caravans are the only things visitors bring. There are around a half dozen bed and breakfasts as well. That leaves us at number nine. We are lumping together as these two villages are only three miles apart, Carnlock and Glenarm. Glenarm, which is the seat of the ninth Earl of Antrim, Randall MacDonnell of Glenarm Castle. The castle dates back to 1636, built by the first Earl of Antrim. Today, it is more than a farming estate as the grounds are now a multifaceted visitor center with a tea room walled garden castle tours and lots of other farm and garden related exhibits. The estate has expanded its visitor center as a means of sustaining a large castle and beef farm. You can even stay over glamping. At number 10, a small town that was a big part of my childhood. A place where it's always been peaceful and relaxing and a true gem on the Causeway Coast. The small town of Port Stewart. We surfed on the Strand, a two mile beach, reveling anything in Ireland. We bathed in the sea at the Atlantic Circle and enjoyed ice cream sundaes in Morelli's on the promenade. This gem we have left to the last on purpose. We think its charms are what you might enjoy. A place that is never in the news for all the right reasons. It's near neighbor of three miles away. Portrush was always the brash place for the youth of the day. 
especially at Easter. The slot machines in Barry's always the attraction. The Sunday school outings by train. The irony being the church didn't approve of gambling, but it didn't matter then. They enjoyed it anyway. So these are just a few of Northern Ireland's attractions, the ones we love. For more, please follow the channel. If you have gotten this far, thank you for watching. Please hit the bell. We have ourselves and two cats to feed. Follow us, share if you like, and join us in the next one up there as we explore life in Ireland today. Thank you and take care.